let's learn how to export an SVG with specific height and width attributes in Illustrator in this simple tutorial. By their nature, SVGs are scalable, which is by design because we use them in so many different ways in responsive digital environments. However, there are certain times where you might want your SVG to have a set width and height. Say, for example, you're adding a logo to a website navbar and the navbar has a specific width and height you need to fit into. So if this is the case, let's define the width and height. So come to my artboard tool and I can either freehand this using the transform bounding box or I can set the width and the height up here by putting in manual amounts or I come to selection tool and select the artwork that I would like to export and then come to object artboards and fit to selected art that will now make the artboard the exact width and height of the artwork. Once you've defined the width and height come to file save as, save on computer, set the save location, so mine is my DWD images folder, set format to SVG, naturally set the SVG name and then click save. Let's select more options. Now I'm not going to go through the specifics of SVG export options in this video. I actually have another video on this which is on the screen now. So if you'd like more SVG export options, be sure to watch that video at the end of this video. However, for the purposes of this video, the option that we want to focus on is responsive here. If we check this off, this will now set an exact width and height attribute to the SVG file and from there we click OK. And there is my saved SVG file. So if I open with Adobe Illustrator and come to my output options, there we go. I've now got my defined width and height as we saved before. So there we have it, a very simple one for you today. That's how to save an SVG with a specific width and height. I really hope you found that tutorial helpful and if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, keep on designing and I will see you for the next tutorial.